It's uh, Wazzy Mike Cram, the small matter of 414 test match wickets, 502 one-day wickets. Anil Kumble went to wicket number 600 yesterday. Uh, he'd be tired, wouldn't he? I don't think so. I think he's got the passion back. And especially after getting 600th wicket, of course, uh, uh, you know... Uh, you lifted. You lifted and you don't feel tired. And especially, I think he's doing well as a leader as well. So everything is gelling together well for him. He's only a spinner anyway, isn't he? He's only a spinner and he doesn't have a run-up as well. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know you were delighted by the fact that uh, the Indians got the ball to swing. And in particular, the left armers got the ball to swing. Uh, it's a way to beat Australia? That's the only way to beat any side mark in general. I think for a fast bowler, if you're a fast bowler and if you have the swing, that's extra, that's plus. But if you are a swing bowler, you can get wickets on any sort of track against any sort of opposition. And that's what exactly Irfan and R.P. Singh did yesterday against Australia. It's supposed to be the quick wicket. And R.P. Singh is a swing bowler, as we know. You know, he uses his wrist very well. And he just sticks to one swing. That's, of course, in swing to the right hander. And his, lines, his line and length has been precise on this trip and plus he comes around the wicket and when he comes around the wicket for right hander batsman is a very difficult angle to play he had to play those shots all right now what about uh, fan patan because he was a, a a boy wonder when he began and and he's gone quiet do, do you see the kind of talent in her fan now that there was then talent is very much there once you are talented talent will stay with you and i think it depends how much hard work you do and Irfan was uh, out of confidence, he tried to bowl quick, but I, I, my suggestion to Irfan was, if you're a swing bowler, try to concentrate on your swing. And this, in this particular match, he showed that if you swing the ball and if you're against the best side in the world, best batting in the world, you can get wickets, and so, that's what he did. So don't try to bowl the ball too fast? Don't try it, just concentrate on your swing, because swing will get you a lot more wickets than the pace eventually, Mark. All right, now to be a young, quick, quick bowler, you, you, you need a bit of anger, you need a bit of attitude. I remember you as a terror away in your early days before you'd mastered your art. This Ishan Sharma has got something about him, hasn't he? He's aggressive. He believes in himself and he prepares the, 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 the game uh, perfectly. I mean, the three-day game he plays against ACT, he was running in every ball. He could have just walked in every ball, trying bounces, bowling around the wicket. He's got a good high-arm action. Yeah, and, of course, uh, he, you know, this delivery in particular was incredible. Coming in and then going across the right-hander, it was a perfect delivery. Uh, when we talk swing, what, what are we talking about here? I mean, the, 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 the old adage is, is that you grip the ball in an orthodox manner and you keep your wrist behind the ball. But you, you were a master of using your wrist, I think, too, yeah? Yeah, I think that's what I've noticed in Aussie bowlers in this particular uh, series so far. They're not using their wrist. Mitchell Johnson have tried in the second innings to bowl in swing to the right hand, uh, but they're not coming because he's bowling round arm. Instead of bowling from high arm, he's bowling round arm. And wrist, wrist I, can, I can explain what wrist means. Yeah. If I'm bowling and uh, in swing to the right hand, uh, my shine would be here, this side. This is the shiny side. And my, my seam position will be first uh, leg slip to the right hander and then I'll come in a wrist I, I'll, I'll twist my wrist with the ball and then it'll come in swing and for out swing I'll go here the shine comes here and my arm instead of here my, my wrist will go slightly open the wrist will go open instead of like this so it'll go open and I, I'll, I'll use my wrist like this rotate the wrist over the ball and that, that will go away swing to the right hander and so for reverse swing same wrist action the, the shine, uh, the shine on the other shine side. on the other side. The reverse swing is ball goes with the shine. It's not a science. It's nothing else. The ball will go with the shine. If it's an old ball and rough from one side, it will go wherever the shine is because of the heavier side. And you said about um, Irfan Patan that you never lose your talent, which is a fair comment. Are you born with the swing talent or can you learn it? Could you teach someone that? Yeah, I can. It's, I've learned, when I started playing cricket, Mark, I used to just come and pitch the ball on, on seam. On seaming track, you might get wickets. Yeah. But on slow tracks, you need to swing the ball. And swing is in the air. That's where the risk comes in. And of course, by practice and by asking someone, you can learn it. And I've learned, I've asked Marshall, I asked Headley, I played with Imran, and Imran taught me a lot as well about reverse swing and normal swing and about, of course, attitude. Uh, positive attitude and believe in your ability is so very mental important. strength mental strength 60 percent all right hang on there for one second because uh, we've briefly mentioned the annual kumble who took his 600th test match wicket yesterday crucial one too andrew simons well uh, after play mark taylor had a chat with him and he began by suggesting the australians might as well as him say have a weakness against the swinging ball yes i think you know our guys have been able to swing the ball right throughout this uh, test series and uh, you know here the the, at, uh, at the Waka, the ball carries through, so uh, it was important that we 
bowled in right areas and then uh, you know we caught well as well so it was it was a good uh, team effort you got some wickets yourself got the 600th mate that must be very nice particularly Andrew Simons that was a big wicket yes uh, it was crucial to get a breakthrough at that point in time and uh, you know 600 is always you know, is a very special uh, thing uh, when you first start off you never think that you'll reach uh, something like this but you know having having uh, reached there is very special now that you've got 600 wickets, does that mean you're getting old or you've just got them very quickly? No, I am old. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's, it's something, yes, uh, you know, having played this long, yes, uh, wickets keep coming and then if you're, uh, if you're keep, uh, you know, keep working at your performance and try and uh, keep it consistent, the wickets will come and then, you know, I'm really happy that uh, today it was uh, very special because, uh, uh, you know, we could get a lead and then, uh, you know, put some uh, pressure on the Aussies. Do you think the captaincy, in a way, is helping your cricket? Yes, certainly. I mean, uh, you know, at this stage in my career, certainly it's it's a great motivation for me as a captain. And uh, yes, that's certainly helped in the last uh, couple of months. Well, looking to tomorrow, lead of 170, nine wickets in the shed. What do you think you need? I think it's important to bat through uh, sessions, and then you know that will be uh, the uh, the message. The runs will come. It's it's important that we get uh, excess of 400, and then uh, you know put pressure on the Aussies, get get early wickets, and then if we bowl. Uh, like the way we bowled in the first innings, then I'm sure uh, you know, we'll be able to uh, get the right result. And what do you make of this pitch? You've got a few balls to turn there today. Yes, uh, it was It was uh, something which I didn't expect uh, at Perth uh, to happen on the second day. So, uh, yeah, there, it's, if, if it starts spinning, then it'll be great because there is carry and bounce, so that'll be good. Well, mate, congratulations on a great day for India and a great day for yourself too with the 600. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. Yeah, Anil Kumble, understandably motivated by the captaincy. Is it more difficult to be a bowling captain? It is, but again, in my opinion, leadership is, especially in cricket, all about getting used to the system. And in my opinion, nobody's a born leader in particular, because in, in game of cricket, you learn. Uh, first series, you don't know how to look after your bowlers, or how to look after the players individually, and of course the press, your cricket boards, and everything. But eventually you learn, and of course then you learn, and then you, you're successful, then you enjoy uh, uh, being a leader. But as a bowler, presumably, you, 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 you understand your fellow bowlers better. I mean, it must in some ways help to be a bowling captain. Definitely. You see, if a batsman is a... Uh, I'm not saying they're not a very good captains. All the bats, all the great batsmen have been a great captains in the past few years. But in general, they don't understand the psyche of a bowler. If you give a bowler an extra over of a spell, he might not be able to bowl for the next whole day. he would probably get too tired. So that's where as a bowler, you know, OK, I'll give him a spell of four overs to five overs, not six overs. Doesn't matter if he gets a wicket or if he doesn't get a wicket. I'll bring him back before lunch or maybe after lunch straight away. So these de details you will pick up if you're a bowler. All right. And uh, just a brief final word from you. I know you're here working for ESPN, so you've covered the whole tour. This game now, uh, India are in a good position to win it. Can they? I think they can. I think after yesterday when they got Aussies out and I think they got the confidence they can compete against Australian and of course they can beat Australians. So that attitude can definitely help, going to uh, help them. They're tough, the Australians, though. They, of course, they're very tough. I've played against them a lot and I've seen them a lot. They're very tough. They can come back at any stage. But right now it's very difficult. Thank you very much for Thank uh, you, being Mark. with us. Delight to uh, chat to you. The great Wazi Makram with us uh, here at the start of the day's play. We'll be picking up live action in around about 20 minutes from...